Kyle Bender, Israel Adesanya, and Tyron Woodley. All right, so here's the former University of Missouri wrestler, one Tyron Woodley, first realized the UFC belt back in 2016. And this is a guy who poses a lot of different threats for this UFC welterweight division. He's a problem. He's a guy that's very tough to prepare for because he has a great wrestling background, but he has this athleticism and this ability to put your lights out with that big right hand that you cannot even focus too much on stopping takedowns. Tyron Woodley is truly one of the best welterweights in the world and one of the best fighters the UFC has ever seen. Two-time NCAA Division I All-American back in 03 and 2005, and he certainly carved out a nice niche in MMA. Tyron Woodley ready to add to his legacy here tonight. All right, so here he is, the inimitable last style bender, Israel Adesanya, still undefeated as a mixed martial artist. DC, you tried to bring him in to emulate John Jones back in the day, and he's such a meticulous, thoughtful guy that he said no because Luke Rocco was in that gym and he thought he might have to fight him one day. He knew that at some point he would reach Luke Rocco in his division, so he said, you know what? I want to help you, DC, but I can't because of what's going to happen going forward in my career. He did not want to put Luke or himself in such an awkward situation. How about forward thinking? How about forward you. thinking that that would have come to pass only a few short years later? But in Israel Asanya, you also have the mentality, but the fighting ability to become a UFC champion in only 12, 13 months. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Adesanya is 31. Woodley is 38. Adesanya is seven inches taller. He will have a six inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, seven losses, and one draw. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA. Tyron, the chosen one, Woodley. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Well, we told you off the top you had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up?
Let's go. Set the pace. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Lands a big right hand early. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big kick lands. Oh, straight punch counter immediately after he raised his guard to block the strike. And certainly easier to accomplish that when you are the longer fighter. Big punch lands through the middle. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Just over three minutes to go. Woodley gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Straight punch lands. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. And he that comes knee, through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Uppercut is true. Slips the punch nicely there. Oh! And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh! He could be in trouble here. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Woodley gets stung by that leg kick. Watch the shot. Ooh, Ooh wee, what a right hand by this young man. Big Paul punch lands. Now he gets back to range. 90 seconds now remain in the round. So he stuffs another takedown there. He talked to us about how hard this training camp was in terms of the defensive rest, but he certainly put in the right work. He did a great job of recognizing the threat, understanding that he could not allow his opponent to get to his hips. He never allows his opponent to get to his hips. And because of that, he's been safe. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know jujitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Andy. Thought he's going to attack a triangle choke here. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Five minutes in the books. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round.
All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Look at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, and he lands another knee there. DC, it doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Oh, a huge block there. Strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Fighter's pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. So 58 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Well, on a pretty good connection rate thus far, hitting on one out of every two. The accuracy rate is 50% against Tyron Woodley. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Good takedown defense by Israel. And they separate. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, oh, those are, oh, oh! He's giving him so many different things right now. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Woodley's pass attempt denied. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. And he's out. Close guard. 90 seconds to go. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Now under a minute to go in the second round. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Side control. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. 
All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. So a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, nice takedown defense. That double leg attempt looked like it might be good. He wasn't having it. Punch over the top. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, the full arsenal on display here. 78 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. And striking with 48% accuracy tonight thus far against Tyron Woodley. Oh, lands a knee to the head. Taller fighter once again finding the target with relative ease. Superman punch. Not there. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting the combination. I mean, oh. if you're going to sit there at the drive through oh. you didn't like that left hand. He's got him right here. We have now crossed the midpoint of this fight. Just over two minutes to go in the round. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. Thing. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Wood. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Looks like Woodley's 
his lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of struggle. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Woo. Israel Adesanya, I don't even know what that was, but it certainly looked pretty, DC. This man brings so many different things to the table as a striker, and I would think would be a very difficult guy for his fellow middleweight contenders to prepare for. Nice. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Wilder gets the double leg takedown. Nice job there, disguising his entry. This is not as dangerous as it used to be in fighting. You know, before, guys are trying to sit in that full guard. Right now, it's just more dangerous for you on top because guys have so many submissions that they can attempt from this position. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not head hunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase the pin. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Back and forth we go. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Left hand punch with the oh. punch. He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. And he continues to work the body here. Oh! Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Adesanya. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. He's got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, he's... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Adesanya's looking to pass in the half guard here, but he's denied. Nice hammer fist. And he landed the right hand there. And he's back up. 
visibly limping here. Good punch, Lance. 90 seconds remain in the round. Oh! oh what a sweep! Diving punch, Lance. That's it! He got it! What a performance! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so back to the drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. back at the replay, it ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 35 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Israel, the last battle bender, Alessandra. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.